my goal to introduce to you a number of the new features and capabilities Wi-Fi 6 offers and hopefully get you thinking for how you can benefit from these uh, enhancements in your environment. First, let's keep it simple and let's just talk about the name. You might be wondering, well, what happened to good old 802.11, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, um, or, or wherever that lands? Well, the Wi-Fi Alliance uh, decided uh, all those letters and numbers was just too much techno speak and a mouthful and too confusing for consumers. So from here on and henceforth, uh, we'll be dealing with individual numbers. This generation is Wi-Fi 6, last generation is Wi-Fi 5, and the next generation will be Wi-Fi 7. Uh, for the engineers, they don't feel about not using the technical uh, name anymore. Wi-Fi 6 is the official name uh, that we can use going forward. So next, I want to take a trip back in time to the year 1999. Uh, when the first Wi-Fi standard 802.11b uh, was introduced. I imagine almost all of us remember using that first, uh, you know, wireless, whether that was some corporate device or, or at home with, uh, you know, the router we got from Best Buy. Uh, can you believe it topped out at about 11 megs? <laughs> and, and here we are a short 20 years later, and you can see at the top right of the graph, the new theoretical throughput uh, for Wi-Fi 6 is 9.6 gigs. It's almost a 1,000x uh, increase, which is not bad, not bad at all. Now, those are theoretical throughputs, but they do show the evolution over time and the dramatic increase of data we've put on wireless that wireless requires. Uh, one of the reasons to fall in love with Wi-Fi 6 is we finally are pretty much on par with wired connections. Um, now, throughput is certainly not the only part of that story that puts us on par with wireless connections, um, but it tells the tale a little bit. Real-world devices, you can go on YouTube, watch different people do speed tests, um, not necessarily the at-home Nighthawk routers or something like that, but enterprise-grade uh, equipment, real-world results are pushing 700 megs uh, and higher on some, some base devices that don't even quite have the full uh, array of antennas to take advantage. Um, so the, the per client throughput may be even higher than that. Um, but again, almost 700 megs to begin with. Now you might ask, what am I gonna do with all that throughput? Uh, 